Hello Queens, you are here with me, Kiana Ashley on Finally You TV, and you are joining me for another Women's Mental Health Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, Queens. So, as promised, I told you I would deliver an additional week dedicated to setting your intentions to celebrate the seven week journey that we went on for our spiritual cleansing chakra balancing journey together, okay? And if you were with me the whole time, thank you. And if you weren't, go back and get into it. It's an amazing practice to incorporate into your life on a weekly, if not daily basis, because we continuously uh, come in contact with different kind of traumas, different kind of negative negativity in the world, you know, maybe sometimes we feel funky like that ourselves, okay? So we need to be able to utilize utilize that kind of practice into our routine because it's a continuous, continuous flushing and balancing and cleansing period that we all have to go through because of the world we live in and that stuff sticks to us. So we definitely need to keep going beyond the seven weeks that we spent together. Definitely, I hope that it's helped to help you incorporate it so that it's a routine for you, okay? So it's a perfect time to set your intentions after the seven weeks we've been together because overall, every week we've done has been really purposeful in terms of releasing all, all these toxic energies that should not be in us, okay, should not be around us, all right, releasing those fears, diminishing all of our worries, our anxieties about things that we just can't control, right? It's, it was about learning who we are more deeply, getting more in tune with ourselves, connecting to our most divine, and showing gratitude for the voice that we have, for the power we have, and acknowledging that power, acknowledging that our voice has a, a place in this world, right? We have to know that. And when you know these things and when you feel that positivity, you feel that empowerment, you feel liberated and you feel like you can accomplish anything. And that's the vibe that we need that's going to fuel our intentions because your intentions have a sixth sense, okay? And any shadow of a doubt that you have, it will pick up on and you, will, you do not want to attract intentions from a place of lack, okay? Do not, and by that I mean... For instance, maybe you're trying to attract uh, financial wealth, okay? That's great. That's what most of us want, right? If, but if you're if you're setting your intention to attract uh, wealth, a financial stability or whatever that might mean for you, however you want to word it, you want to be sure that you're not doing setting this intention th thinking about how broke you are or thinking about how bad you need some money. Instead, when you're setting the intention for something like that, set it in a way from a mindset where it's saying, you know what, I know I'm going to be financially stable this year. I know I'm going to be able to balance my finances much better and get to the place where I know I can be financially better at, right? So that's the positivity. That's a difference. You know, it's a difference saying, you know what, I'm broke. I need some money between. And that's a difference between saying that and then saying, you know what? I'm, I'm about to make it. I'm going to hit it big this year. I'm going to make me some good money. I'm going to balance my finances this year. And I'm going to get to my financial goal. It's a big difference in your wordplay. And that's the biggest key about setting your intentions. It's the verbiage in your mindset. Okay. Again, they don't call it spelling for nothing. The words you say, you say out your mouth attract those vibrations into your life whether it's a positive way or a negative way it's going to attract that okay so definitely be mindful as if you're if you're saying your intentions out loud or if you're writing them down be mindful of your verbiage okay so first i want to talk about what is an intention it's very different from a goal and sometimes i can hear it being used synonymously together goals and intentions are very different goals can be they're good. And I think about goals in terms of like maybe an entrepreneur, they have an overall goal or objective for their business or something like that. Right. So goals can be something that I see a lot of people jumping from one goal to the other. And, you know, as, as meaningful as they can be, they're not personable to you as much as that an intentions is because an intentions is who you are. OK, it's who you're aspiring to be. And it's appreciating what you're doing in the moment versus 
a goal where it's kind of like it's it, it doesn't have a personal attachment to it you say you want to do it but we say we want to do a lot of things okay whether we hold ourselves to it or not an attention holds you responsible holds you accountable for that because it has a personal connection to you who you are in the moment and what you're aspiring to attract or, or be or achieve okay it's just for instance for example a goal can be a goal can be i want to quit drinking coffee okay but if you set an intention the intention would sound a little bit more like this i want to put more nutrients more nourishment into my body doesn't that sound a little bit different because it it not only does it create a more clearer picture of what you're trying to achieve but the whole point of an intention is to really get you to feel to feel what you're what you're saying to feel what you're doing i'm going to quit drinking coffee okay great why why what's the benefit in that for you an intention has more of a benefit it sounds a little bit more clear you know i i am going to start putting more i'm going to be more mindful of what i put into my body that sounds powerful because it, 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 it the verbiage just makes it sound more compelling in terms of how motivated you feel to set this intention anybody can say they're going to do something but when it comes from a certain place an intention of what you want to happen you can quit drinking coffee okay but putting more nourishing things into your body that goes beyond just coffee you know what I mean? It can take you beyond. And that's the next thing I want to talk about with intentions is that it's an evo ever evolving thing. You know, goal can stick you into one place, which can keep you hopping around. Whether an intention has stages of evolution that will keep you evolving. And what's good about that is that the brain, we can get kind of bored with stuff, right? A goal usually has a one kind of might have a couple of steps involved, but not enough to keep us really involved and interested and in turn we might just kind of put it to the wayside okay or get bored that's the whole point you don't want to get bored and the intentions don't allow that to happen okay because what's happening is that it's, it comes in stages of evolution okay so for instance maybe you want to attract um maybe you want to attract more peace into your life that opens up a big window of evolution. Okay, well this week to work towards attracting peace into my life, I'm gonna start meditating this week, boom. The next stage for that intention can be, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing more yoga or I'm gonna start reevaluating my relationships. Do these relationships I'm around bring me peace or chaos, you know? So that's the beauty of an intention is that it has stages of evolution that where you can evolve with it. Um, and that's why I recommend typically for people to set maybe three or four intentions for the month and just put energy towards that. Or some people I know might want to focus on maybe just one intention and put all of their energy into it. You can set plenty of goals, right? People can do that and feel good about, yeah, I set that goal. But an intention, attention is much different because it requires some real good, deep felt energy from you to attract it, Okay. Because it's going beyond, it's going beyond something that you can just do every once in a while. This is an everyday practice for you to work towards your intention, okay? And the journal that I'm going to be providing coming up later this week, shit is about to get real, it, daily intention setting journal is made for just that. Because it's going to help you to release, like I said, release all the things that's, that could cause a hindrance in your, attracting what you're trying to manifest, Releasing fears, releasing your worries, releasing any doubts. It has a section in this, in this journal for that, to release that, to write that down. Say, I am releasing X, Y, and Z. Okay. It also has a section where you're going to put down, what am I actively doing? So, like I said, let's go back to, I want to attract peace into my life. Okay. So, what am I actively doing this week or for the next week or two? I'm going to incorporate yoga this many days into my practice. Okay. Um, it has positive affirmations because again it's all about your verbiage this journal is going to help really change the way you think and and 
put your sentences and your statements together, especially when it comes to improving yourself, improving what's going on in your life and really attracting and manifesting what you want. Because again, words hold a power, a power that we have to be mindful of. And a journal teaches you how to do that. Um, yeah, positive thoughts, releasing fears. What are you actively doing to work towards it? And those are the three things that will empower and really fuel and drive the manifestations of your intentions, okay? It is releasing all doubts, anxieties, worries, and fears. It is about being able to have positive thoughts, positive words, positive affirmations and statements. And it's about what am I actively doing to work towards that, right? What am I actively doing? Going back to the whole, I, I won't drink coffee thing. Yeah, I just won't drink coffee. But does that really hold your, would that really hold your hold your attention long enough for you like i'm just i'm just not drinking coffee why why aren't you drinking coffee why what's the point of not drinking coffee your intentions help you really spell out what you're looking for and that's the beauty of intentions is it helps you become more clear about what you want right and why you want it because this is for you this is for your evolution this is for your elevation of your spirit and, and soul and whatever your mind and body all that right so that's the beauty of it and i cannot wait to share this journal with you because you are going to love it and again continue to incorporate releasing fears and balancing those chakras on a daily basis because it's so important in terms of being able to feel good to to, to walk in your truth to be able to really feel like whatever it is that you want you are going to get just be mindful that some be realistic with your intentions and i'll get more into that in another video i'll actually be posting um upon the release of this journal i'll be actually posting to my ig channel on goddess of the land and finally you um ig pages how to really get the ba best bang for your buck out of your journal okay because many of us may have an idea of how to set intentions and many of us like i said may think it's goals oriented and it has nothing to do with goals ladies people it has nothing to do with goals it has something to do with who you are what you're trying to become okay goals can help you do that but intentions is something more way more powerful than that and that's what i love about this journal and that's what i love about setting intentions and being able to really clarify my life literally like really clarify it you know how you got the shampoo and your curls get really like you know like this and then you go to Put that clarifying shampoo like that and it defines everything defines all your curls that's what a set of an attention is it's like a clarifying shampoo it clarifies exactly what you need and defines your life in a way where you can see it clearly you can see your curls when they get that clear that clarity in and the definition right you can see them popping you want your goals to be popping excuse me you want your intentions to be popping like that okay so i'm so excited to share that with y'all um again I encourage you to keep on this journey. It's been a beautiful journey with you ladies. And next week we will go more into some other mind blowing, uplifting things to really continue the healing of our mind and hearts. Okay. So thank you for joining me for another Women's Mental Health Wednesday. I love you. And I will see you next week when you join me for another wonderful Women's Mental Health Wednesday. And until then, take care of yourself and be well.